It is Monday, and you know what that means. It is a very special episode of BUW. What is going on, everybody? Broken Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome along to this very special episode of BUW. And this, folks, is episode 96. So yes, guys, you're wondering why is there an episode on Monday? Well, I can tell you guys, from Wednesday onwards, for for around about a week or so, I will be out of town. So hence why I'm bringing this week's episode forward. Anyway, another we've got another massively stacked card for you guys once again. 10 matches in total as the usual and it will be uh, spread across 4 separate parts so hope you will all enjoy the action as we get ever closer to the 3rd annual Wrestleverse event and as you can see guys we are kicking things off with a huge Number one contenders fatal four way elimination match. And the winner of this upcoming match will go on to WrestleVerse to challenge the global champion Casey Hoyt at WrestleVerse. And the participants are Jackson Oak, Jake Hudson, Ogie Man, and TM. Who's going to go on to WrestleVerse? and get the title opportunity. Let's find out. So if you guys do enjoy this one, then please do be sure to smash that like for Mike, leave any comments down below, and please guys do not forget to hit that subscribe button, and switch on your notifications to stay up to date with all things gaming, and all things BUW. I just want to point out as well, guys, that um, after this week's episode, it could there could be a uh, little break for BUW as well, as uh, we get set, as we get closer to move over to the uh, hopefully move move over to the 2K22 era. And as always, folks, we are live from Blackpool, England. As we get set for our first matchup of the night. Making his way down to the ring first, well, the Jake guys. Hudson. Yeah, and, I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a and Jake Hudson, who candidate. did participate in the like Chamber of Mayhem Global Championship way, match, order here in did not fall the way yeah, of this young man. To rise. But he's a looking for another opportunity against Casey Hoyt. This young man has all the potential in the world to be a champion. Will he get the chance in this match if he wins? Oh, 
And a huge meal ticket is on the line. Wrestleverse. A Wrestleverse spot is on the card for all of these superstars here tonight. And making his way down to the ring. The former two-time BUW hardcore champion, Oggy Man. Oggy Man, who had a lengthy run second time round with the hardcore championship. Unfortunately, did not recapture the title at the Chamber of Mayhem. But it's possibly time for Oggy to go on to do bigger and better things. And a global title match is at stake. And Oggy could be a very interesting opponent for Casey Hoyt. And making his way down to the ring, Jackson Oak, the former BW Tag Team Champion made a surprise comeback at the Ruthless Rumble with a brand new look and transformation. Well, he also was one of the six no, participants in the Chamber of Mayhem now. match. Yeah, this was not be that easy, was uh, sure. but hey, is anything worth the same one Jake was in for the global title. Jake, uh, sorry, J uh, Jackson actually eliminated Jake Hudson from that match. And again, fortunately, did not capture the title. Looking for another opportunity. And here comes a man who has one of the most unique entrances in BUW today. And of course making his way down to the ring, the last superstar in this match. Representing the Ghostface Killers, TM, a former BUW World Champion, was in the final three of this year's men of this year's men's Ruthless Rumble match, and of course TM, who's actually a three-time global champion, looking to get another opportunity at the title against his, hopefully against his part former partner Casey Hoyt. And see him looking to equal the record of global title wins, which is currently and held by Dio Patterson. Maryland, weighing in at 267 pounds, T.M. Myers. Fatal four-way action coming up in Byron. Of course, what large just mentioned before, T.M. We're looking to score a win here and go on to Wrestleverse and, and challenge for, for his sure fourth global championship. And again, I'm not sure, but I think Miaujit has to be the one behind that camera. She's even confessed it before. It it was her that uh, that was uh, the uh, culprit that stole TM's lantern all those months ago. And I'd also add that he's anything but timid. TM's pretty much done Good, everything there is to do in BUW. There's still a few titles he's not yet won here in the company. Of course, he, like I said, would like to equal the record for global title victories and make it four wins with that championship. Casey Hoyt awaits the winner of this match one of the 
Let's just be sure. Yep, eliminations are on, and here we go. Oggy going after TM. And the ongoing feud between Jax and Oak and Jake Hudson is, uh, is, is on it. Is on its uh, rearing its ugly head once again. Exploder suplex from TM. And Jackson Oak gets thrown over the top rope. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. Of course, Jackson Oak, who uh, we say made his return at the Ruthless Rumble. Oh, be good. And of course, uh, went on the following week to uh, take on Jake Hudson and got the victory. Went into the chamber. And Jackson got another pinfall over Jake Hudson. And Jake. Of course, would love a measure of retribution here tonight. If he can get one over on Jackson Oak and maybe go on to WrestleVerse and challenge Casey Hoyt. But he's got two other obstacles to get past as well. As right now, TM and Oggy squaring up for the first time ever. And TM and Oggy, two former hardcore champions going at it. Backhand from Jake, but all four men on the outside of the ring. And the DDT. Jake landed, sorry, Jackson landing face first. Oggy and TM back in the ring. Off the ropes. Down goes the official. And you know what that usually means. It wouldn't be a BW show without the referee taking a bump or two. Oggy stepping over TM in the ring. Split leg moonsault. Will this be the first elimination? Just a one count. Oggy going right into the cross face. But TM had the foot under the bottom rope. Lovely flying, flying cross body by TM. Looking for elimination. Doesn't even get a one count. And TM can't believe it. Jake back in the ring now. Changing his mind. He's going right back after Jackson on the outside. But that could have been a mistake. A discus clothesline by Jake Hudson. Takes Jackson out the equation for the time being. Snap mirror takedown. Elbows landing flush. And Jake turning his attention to, to TM. Batbreaker. Now TM to the outside and Jake turning his attention to Oggy. Who overpowers Hudson. And Jackson back in the ring. Snap me a takedown. Elbow to the face. And what's Jackson looking for here? Snap suplex. Oh, what a clothesline from Jackson. Canadian Destroyer. Jackson hit it. Hit all that Canadian Destroyer on Oggy Man. Taking a long time to make the cover. And a two count only. Nerve hold by Tim on Jake. Wait a second. Dude Buster from Jackson Oak to Oggy. And Oggy is the first man eliminated. So Oggy will not be going to Wrestleverse and challenge for the Global Championship and look straight back on the. Uh, Jake and Jackson, their little feud's going again here. Knee to the back. Jackson has scored the first elimination. Oh, Jackson again. Power bomb. Oh, and TM with the mandible claw on Jackson Oak. And he's, ca he's counted down. And Jackson gets the shoulder up. Gets him with 
elbow from Jack, uh, from Jake. And a stand up in Zaguri. Down goes TM. Sending the former world champion to the outside. Close line by Jackson. Snap mirror takedown. And a kick to the spine. And a close line. Inverted atomic drop. Following it up. Leg drop just below just above the belt. And a baseman drop kick to the face. TM back in the ring. Suplex. And Jackson sent to the outside and Jake with a discus clothesline. And there's a two sweep from Jake to the fans. He's got to keep his eye on the ball here. If Hudson wants that title match. Elbow to the back of the head. And the cross arm breaker. And Tim's too near the ropes. Jake missing wildly with that clothesline. Good night from Baltimore. TM hit it. And oh wait a second. Jackson with Dude Buster. Oh, and that was close. TM coming with an eyelash. You're being eliminated. And Jackson with those strikes takes down Jake. Pele kick. Jackson with the right hand. What's, what's he going to do here? Oh, look out. Back suplex off the hardest part of the ring. Right on that ring apron, folks. That is hard as anything. And you want to avoid that all, at all times. The TM back up. Oh, straight right hand for Jake as soon as he got back in the ring. And there is a mandible claw. And Jack, sorry, and Jake fights out. It's Michael Clock, and there's an RKO from Jake Hudson out of nowhere. Oh! That was close. And Jake with the counter on Jackson. Sends a former tag team champion to the outside. What is, what is Jake thinking here? And a shining wizard. And Jake not opting for the cover. That could be a mistake. And that's partly one of... Uh, Jake's flaws that he does not cover when he's in control and I think someone's been busted open and TM drops Jake and now you can see the ring ropes shake in there good night from Baltimore by TM TM into the cover will this be the end of Jake Hudson's night it is. We're down to two. We're down to TM. We are down to Jackson Oak. One of these two men are going to Wrestleverse to challenge for the Global Championship. Jack, Jake's, Jackson with the cover. Near fall. Goodness me. Oh, Jackson. Dude Buster once again for the second time on TM. And Jackson is the number one contender so we now know Casey Hoyt's next challenger for that global championship you see TM busted up there on the replays I thought this was it after the RKO from Jake Hudson 
but to no avail there was the good night from Baltimore which ended Jake Hudson's night Anyway, here's your winner of the match and the number one contender to the BUW Global Championship, Jackson Oak. And of course, Jackson, who's uh, had many opportunities at singles gold before, but yet to capture the title. Will Wrestleverse be a different story for that young man? Congratulations to Jackson Oak. He deserves it. Anyway, moving on to our next matchup. And we have our first uh, bit of action from the women's division. And this one is going to be Mia Leanne representing Sister Act. And she'll be taking on the RKM Mafia Princess, Alice Sarah, the former BMW Women's Champion. Making her way down to the ring first, representing Sister Act, this is insane, Mia Leanne, kicks into high gear. You ain't a former WWA yet. Women's Champion. And of course, speaking of the WWA Women's Championship, we last saw Mia Leanne compete in the Chamber of Mayhem against five other superstars for that championship she once held and she didn't fare so well in the chamber And making her way down to the here. ring next, RKM Mafia Princess, Alice Sarah. And of course, let's not forget this intimidating sight. This woman right here holds the record for the longest reign of the, of the BUW Women's Championship. She held that, let get this folks, those that are new here, this hey guys, lady like held the title the for ten and a half months really a and no one else has come close to that record as of yet the the but the current champion Pinky Ness I think is like a quarter of the way there and in the the middle of her run but anyway here we go Lock up between the two superstars. And I do believe this is a first time meeting between these ladies. And these are two of the tallest women in BUW. Makes you wonder how their paths have not crossed before. Because they're both technically sound superstars. 
Both former champions looking to climb back up that ladder. Beautiful net breaker from Mia. As Alice and drops her with the inverted DDT. Now in full control. Hangman's oh, Hangman's net breaker there from Mia. And right now, Mia in command of the early stages, and Alice just overpowering Mia. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that. Running Bulldog. Look at this. Snap suplex. Going for the cover. Alice goes into the cover. Not, sure what made her think Not even a one count. Right, right hand Four and an elbow. Yet another count. Alice countered. Like oh, excuse me. Face buster by Alice. Oh, Kicked in the, the midsection. Off the ropes. And Mia with a Lufaz press. But a very unique version of it. Slamming Alice's head into the mat. Oh, and that forearm did nothing to Alice except pee her off. Mia hung out to dry. Of course, Alice, who recently returned to BUW, hasn't had the best of luck since returning. Falling into the likes of Queen B. And, uh,. Mini Demon in oh, I mean, in recent weeks. Vertical suplex. Snap mirror takedown. And a kick to the back. Into the cover. Will this do? Just a one count. And Alice can't believe it. Off the ropes. A shoulder tackle from Alice. Leaves Mia stunned. Alice regroup into the outside. Both women outside the ring in front of the BUW universe. No count outs, of course. And a shoulder tackle that time. It did knock Alice to the floor. And the cameraman's got a great view of the action. And there's a bat breaker. Oh, nice net breaker there from Alice Sarah. Into the barricade. Back inside the ring. And there's one way traffic at the moment. There is a Supergirl punch. Will this do? No. Two count only. Alice can't believe it. Wondering how the Supergirl punch did not end it. But she's got Mia. She's not done yet. Rack attack. And that has to be it for Mia. Alice into the cover. And a convincing win for the former women's champion, Alice Sarah. Not a good day at the office for the former WWA women's champion. There were spots in the match where Mia did look good. But she just got overpowered by the former women's champion. There was a Supergirl punch. We thought that was enough. Of course, the rack attack seemed to do its job and keep Mia down for the count of three. So here is your winner of the match, 
the RKM Mafia Princess, Alice Sarah. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing and this could be the start of many more wins to come as she climbs back up that ladder to maybe to recapture that BUW Women's Championship. Anyway, moving on to our final match before we take a quick break. We've got another singles match coming your way next. And it is time from the men's division. And it's going to be Landon representing the Magnum Dynasty. And he'll be taking on Catigan. Of course, Cadigan coming fresh off from getting one of the biggest singles wins of his career by defeating Mr. Grand Slam, Ian Berg, on last week's episode. And of course, uh, Landon, who's a former two-time tag team champion in BUW, most recently with Prince Magnum. He's told Landon they could still be tag partners, but for him to explore what it's like to be on his own and go for some more singles gold. But let's not forget, Landon is a former United Kingdom champion. And Landon, we have said before, is one of those superstars. That has it all to be a big time player here in BUW. to enter the Sounds ring like first more than ready to representing the Magnum so Dynasty Landon wrong, and, yet both these superstars are already trending. and I'm excited for this one this could be an instant classic between two very gifted young superstars <clears throat> And possibly two future main eventers. I have to say the level of pride he has in his game is truly impressive, guys. Yeah, he's about as proud as a peacock, Michael. And you know what? He has every right to be. Making so his way down to the ring next. And with good reason, Michael, Cadigan. This one's been brewing for quite some time. And Cadigan, of course, coming fresh off from his victory last week against Mr. Grand Slam, Ian Berg. And to be fair, I don't think too many people saw that one coming. But we know he's defied the odds before. He's a former United Kingdom champion. A former United States champion and a 2021 Men's Ruthless Rumble winner. And of course, Cadigan, we said about main eventers, Cadigan has technically main evented a headlined a pay per view. He headlined it with Bobby Mondo last year at Wrestleverse. And here we go. This match is officially underway as these two 
young superstars lock up. Tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Working Landon control. with the takedown into the armbar. And just tweaks that arm just a little bit. Just as a warning shot. Catagon with a Russian leg sweep. This could be huge. Catagon double underhook. Oh, oh turn into a backbreaker. Lovely drop kick by Cadigan into the cover. Just a one count. And again, that was Cadigan's warning shot. Knee lift to the arm. Sending Landon into the corner. A striking blow. He continues to press forward. Kagan driving the knee into the face of Landon. Clubbing blow to the back. He's absorbed some damage already. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. On no one there for the kick. Landon looking to turn things in his favor. Suplex. Cadigan back to his feet now. But groggy. And there's a kick to the back of the head of Cadigan. Of course, Landon there paying homage to uh, AEW superstar Malachi Black. Oh, look at Landon. What's he going to do here? Unbelievable maneuver there by Landon. Looked like a elevated version of a cutter. Nah, look at this. Follows up with a spinning arm breaker. And Cadigan trying to feel that the wearable in his in his arm. Is there any feeling left in that arm? <clears throat> Stump on the back. Great agility there. Cadigan switching things back in his favor now. Right hand. Oh, and Landon hung out to dry. A counter from Landon. A slap by Cadigan. Oh, and Cadigan with a sleeper. Locked in, but too near the ropes. Spinning knee to the face. Double stomp. Oh, kick to the face. Takes down Cadigan. Landon has everything well in hand. And he's looking to finish it. Hits the curb stomp. And Cadigan's busted open. Will this be the, enough for the win? No. Two count only. And Landon cannot believe it. Going right back to that left arm. Spinning arm breaker. Cadigan back up. The cave in. Cadigan's back up to his feet again. How much does this young man have in the tank? Cadigan goes over the top rope, lands on the apron, heading to the top rope. The double sledgehammer. Unbelievable. Into the cover. Cadigan looking to score big here. Just a one count. Cadigan, our doubts creeping in his mind. Well, wait a second. Goes for it. This is how he defeated Inberg last week. 6-1-9. Could this be enough? Cadogan looking to get another win here. But only gets a near fall that time. Two count only. Cadogan cannot believe it. What's he looking for next? Oh, is he going? For, he's going for the walls. Landon's on his bet on his back. Can he get over to his belly? He can. The walls are Cadogan. But Landon immediately fights out. 
kicks in the midsection. DDT. Landon going high risk. We know what he's thinking here. The six. Verity splashed it. No. Cadigan got the knees up. I thought Landon hit it. But Cadigan appeared to get his knees up. Cover. Cadigan. Can he score the win? No. Unbelievable. What's it going to take for one of these two to put the other away? What a match. Snake Eyes, Cadigan. Alley up bomb. Good grief. Another roundhouse kick to the back of the head. But Cadigan, great ring awareness to roll out to the outside. Oh, what's Landon doing? What, what is he? What, Landon, what are you doing? Oh my God, a power ball on the outside. Landon has no, shown absolute no absence of malice. What is next for Landon? Cadigan is not moving. He hit it. No, again. The six thirty splash. Cadigan, sorry, Landon took way too much time. And looking for it a second time. The walls are Cadigan. Will Landon be able to survive? The walls. Oh, Cadigan. That was a mistake on his part. He let him out. I think he was about to tap. Bulldog. Cover. And just like that, folks, Cadigan wins this classic matchup. You can see what that's done to Cadigan's body, taking its toll on the young man. But I think you've got to agree with me, folks. We've just seen an instant classic between two bright young superstars who have everything it takes to main event on a regular basis. Two former champions. And here's your own of the match, Cadigan, and Cadigan scoring back-to-back victories. Scored a win against Mr. Grand Slam Ian Berg last week, and this week having a classic with Landon. And I hope we get to see these two Lockhorns again soon. That was a fantastic match. Anyway. Let's all take a quick breather, guys, because we're going to have a little break here. If you have enjoyed the opening part of this week's BU dub, then please do be sure to hit the like for Mike. Do not forget to slam any comments down below. And please, guys, do be sure to smash that subscribe button as hard as you possibly can. Switch on your notifications to stay up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. We've got plenty more matches still to come, folks, coming your way. We've got seven big matches still to come, including a huge tag team main event, which could have WrestleVerse implications. But before all that, guys, we've still got several more matches before that. So until then, guys, do take care and, and have a and also have a quick cup of tea, have a drink, ha have some popcorn, whatever you want to do, guys, and uh, get set for part two of BUW because I will be back right after this break.